Bennett Academy and Marist, two schools that are no strangers to the championship game at the Wheaton Classic. Marist has beaten the Red Wings the last two times in this exact game. But BA comes into this one undefeated and looking to keep it that way. The Red Hawks already up 6-2 in the first set. Bennett tries to get tricky with the tip, but Marist comes back with a monster kill from Cameron Hanna. 7-2 Marist. A little bit of a crazy rally a few points later. Marist goes up for the tip and Bennett sends it right back over, but B.A. throws a block party with Anne-Marie Reams for the point. Wings trailing 11-8. All about the quick moves in this match. Maris still leads, but Sophie Gregis cuts into it with a kill. Wings down three. Bennett still fighting to stay alive in the first, and Gregis at it again. Monster kill for the Wings, who trail by just two. But the Red Hawks would take the first set as Cameron Hanna finishes it off with another kill. 25-22. Second set and Bennett in control already. Reams gets the nod in the middle for the kill, wings up 7 5. Set two all knotted at 19s until Gregus gets her palm on the ball for one of her 10 kills on the night to push Bennett back in control. The Wings trying to seal the deal and push to a third set, but the Hawks have other plans. They deny Colleen McGuire for a kill with the block to tie the game at 22s. Bennett down one, 25-24, and Kyla Kenny goes for the kill. Denied, but Hattie Monson with a quick reaction gives Kenny another chance, and she gets the point to tie the game at 25. Bennett up 28-27, and they want that third set. Reams and Masinga team up at the net for the defensive block to give the Red Wings what they want. A second set win, 29-27. Into the third set we go, and the Wings already leading by one. Make that two as Sam Buckley gets the quick point. These two teams are really giving it all they got as some rallies show off their defensive skills. After Bennett's forced to shuffle around Maris, they take advantage and Maddie Arundel gets the kill to put the Hawks in the lead. Maris still in the lead, but Bennett is clawing their way back as Kyla Kenny gets the unconventional kill. Wings trailing by three. But not for long. After Bennett gets the block and forces Maris to send a free ball over, Masinga sets up Reams to tie the game at 22. Match point for Bennett, and they're doing all that they can to end it quick. Maris goes for the attack and Monson watches as it goes out as Bennett stays undefeated and takes the Wheaton Classic title for the first time since 2015. We scouted them really well and after the first set we really knew where they were going to hit and um, our blockers did a really good job of putting up a good block so I could like know where to go around them and so it was really easy for me to read the hitters um, with such, such a good block. They're a really big rivalry, so it was kind of just like the tension, but it, they're, they're a good team overall, so there was really no game plan. It was just to come out with energy and come out strong. I feel like as a team, like overall, after all these years that I've been at Bennett, we're like the best team with chemistry-wise, so it's always sticking together. That always helps us bounce back. We went into it knowing it was going to be a long match. Uh, we, knew, we knew it was going to be tight each set, so... Um, game plan was just to keep going throughout the whole game. Even when we were down, even when we were up, you just got to stay on top of it. You got to dig deep and it, it's not easy and those matches are, are difficult and they're stressful on both sides and you got you to learn to enjoy those moments and you know it's it's fun. You know we I, both sides played well. I'm just glad we came out on top. I think this just that team is our biggest rival and we just we always get so ready and like it's pumped up when we're about to play them and it just it pushes our confidence up so much more and I think it just makes us so much more ready to compete throughout this whole season. I just know like the feeling the past three years I've had at this point in the turn um, in the season and this is like our first loss like last year or the year before that it was like our first loss so it feels good still being undefeated.